And now more with Red Bull and dinosaurs. So we have our third type of experimental design, and it is a matched pairs design, which is a special type of block design. So we have a, a regular, completely randomized design, and we talked about the block design, and then we have a special block design called a matched pairs. It works best for two when you have two treatments. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can look at doing it. One, you can match up the experimental units according to a similar characteristic, and then randomly assign one to one treatment and the other to the other treatment. Uh, which you'll see here in a second. The other way is you can have every experimental unit do both treatments, but you randomly pick the order. Uh, and the assignment of treatments is dependent. So here we have dinosaurs, and we have our Red Bull and our 5-hour energy, kind of an ongoing uh, treatment issue that we've been talking about. So the first type of matched pairs is you're going to match them up according to some similar characteristic. Now, in this case, it's pretty obvious to see their similar characteristics. We'll match them up by type of dinosaur. So we've got our Stegosaurus. We've got our Demetrodon. We've got the Gallimimus. And we have our Pterodactyl. Now, what we're basically going to do is go to each pair and randomly assign one to Red Bull and the other one will get five hour energy. And the best way to do this is using a coin. Coin has two sides, heads and tails. So you can easily assign one treatment, uh, one to one treatment and one to the other. So we'll go to this Stegosaurus and we'll assign heads to be Red Bull and tails to be 5 hour energy. So I flip the coin, comes up tails, this Stegosaurus goes to 5 hour energy, and the other one automatically gets Red Bull. I do the same thing for each group. So the Dimitri Dons will go heads for Red Bull, tails for 5 hour energy. We get tails, so the first one goes to 5 hour energy, the next one goes to Red Bull, and you repeat this process one to Red Bull, one to 5 hour energy. Pterodactyls, Red Bull, and 5-Hour Energy. So now, each one of these, and you can see, each one of the four types of dinosaurs is getting Red Bull. Each one of the four types is getting 5-Hour Energy. Now, what helps, and, and we'll see this a lot later in our significance test, but let's say we're comparing alertness. Well, this dinosaur is going to have an alertness number, and this one's going to have an alertness number, and then we can basically find the difference in those, and then we'll run some statistics uh, and do a significance test with those numbers. We're not doing anything like that yet. You just have to be familiar with the overall process. So that's the first one, and you can immediately compare the results and see if they're consistent among all types of dinosaurs. The other type of matched pairs is every dinosaur gets both treatments but you flip a coin to see which one goes first so uh, let's bring my coin app over here okay so um, and I'll write on it so I'll flip the coin and if it comes up heads they get Red Bull first. If it comes up tails, they get 5-hour energy first. So I'll flip the coin. Tails. So this first guy is going to go 5-hour energy, and then he's going to get Red Bull. All right. He's going to drink a 5-hour energy. He's going to give an alertness. Then he's going to give some washout period to kind of let his system, you know, get back to normal. Then he's going to drink a Red Bull and going to give a, a number. So that person's going to have a number for their alertness for 5-hour energy and for Red Bull. And you're going to repeat that process for each one. So we'll go the Dimitri Don. Again, heads for Red Bull, tails for 5-hour, heads for Red Bull. So Red Bull first, then 5-hour five five with the washout period in between. Get two numbers, and then we can compare the differences uh, in alertness. Repeat this process. Stegosaurus, start, stop, heads, we get Red Bull first, and then 5-hour energy. And you repeat that process, and again, so for every single person, you'll have two types of treatments. It's a, it, you're pairing the two treatments to each 
subject. That's pretty much it for match pairs. Uh, I'm going to add one thing at the end, a uh, little test to see how many people are actually watching my videos. So at the end of your notes, in order to get credit tomorrow, now don't tell your friends because I'm going to see what percent of people are actually watching these. I want you to draw your favorite geometric shape and number it with your favorite number. Now, I've got some fancy tools. I'm going to go with my favorite geometric shape is the pentagon. No, let's say a hexagon. And my favorite number is 7. So you pick your favorite geometric shape and your favorite number. Write that on your paper. And I'll give you credit for the assignment. We'll do a little test, see who's watching my videos. Good luck.